Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to do in this video is I am going to show you how to take your Unify network. And this is going to be specific to a site running on either a cloud key or a self-hosted Unify application or somewhere else that hosts, hosts your Unify network application and using a UXG Lite, a UXG Pro, or any of the other gateways, not a cloud console. This is, you can do this on the cloud console, but now that they have the zone-based firewall, I do have a video coming out on that, but this is how you do it as of January 20th on a site with a gateway that is not a cloud console. And I know they have a lot of hardware and they have a lot of devices and sometimes it's it's hard to keep it straight but what we're going to do is we're going to pretend i'm just going to throw an example out there that this is a car dealership and the car dealership has technicians and they need a guest network and they have a main network and then they also have a vpn to a server where technicians log things right and we're going to say that 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 is the 10.10.10 .10 .10 network 10.10.10.0 24 Right, so that VPN is set up, it's working. But what, what we need to do now is we need to segregate the guests, the technicians, and the main network and the printers. So let's get started. So we've got our Unify, this is running a UXG light. So what we're gonna do, I wanted to show you that if we go into security, you're gonna notice if you're running a Unify gateway that you don't have the option yet to upgrade to that zone-based firewall. That is probably coming. You can also follow along with this if you're on a Unify, a Unify cloud console and you haven't upgraded to the zone-based. You can still do it with the zone-based, but it looks a little bit different. Like I said, full video coming on that soon. But what we've got to do here first is we've got to create some new VLAN. So we've got our main network. So we're going to create a guest network here. And we're going to go down here to manual. And for the guest, we are going to completely isolate that. Now, we don't want to run a guest portal or anything like that. So we're just going to do isolate network. Won't be able to get to any of our other, other VLANs. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create another VLAN. And we're going to call this printers. And actually, let's do the technicians first. And we're just going to leave everything here at default. We're going to uncheck that auto scale. And then we're going to add our printers. We're going to uncheck that auto scale and we're going to leave everything else the way it is. So now we have VLANs 1, 2, 3, and 4. We're going to go over. We already have a main Wi-Fi network. We're going to create a new one. We're going to call this guest. And we're going to attribute that to the guest network. And like I said, we are not using the guest portal. They're just going to get internet that is segregated from everybody else. We're going to add that. We're going to create new. We're going to call this text. And we're going to attribute that to the technician network. We're going to leave everything else the same. So now we have our three Wi-Fi networks. And they are attributed to this. Now our printers are all hardwired for VLAN 4. So the next thing we've got to do is we've got to go find our printer real quick. And we have to put it in the printer VLAN. So we're going to go over to clients. And you can see here we've got this printer right here. And it's on the one network. So we're going to click on this. And we're going to go over to the switch that it's connected to which is the Unify Flex port two. We'll go to port manager. We'll click on port two. We're gonna drop this down. We're gonna call this printers for the native VLAN network. We're gonna block all the other VLANs. We don't need any other tagged VLANs on there. We're gonna hit apply. Now, I don't know if that's gonna automatically grab a new IP, but our printers should have static IPs. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this. We're going to hit fixed IP address and we're going to put in 192.168.4.2. We're going to apply that. So now that printer will have 4.2. Maybe I can force this to connect here. So that should come back up. 
it should have 4.2 unless I put 25. So it'll it'll take it here as soon as this updates. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to settings and we've got to create a an object profile and we've got to put all the printers that we want the text to be able to get to into the uh, printer group. So we're going to go to profiles, we're going to go to uh, network objects. You can see I've got one here. I'm going to delete that real quick. And what we're going to do is we're going to click, click create new. We're going to call this printers. And let's say that we have, you know, three printers. So we're going to do 192.168.4.2, 192.168.4.1, and 192.168.4.4. There are all of our printers there. We're going to go ahead and click Add. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create those firewall rules. I want to see if that updated. It did update. So our printer is now 4.2. If you had your other printers on there and you made that same port change, now you should start seeing those populate in that 192.168.4 network. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to security and by default it's going to be on simple. So we're going to click advanced and it'll probably be on internet or all, but we want to click LAN and we only need LAN in so we don't confuse ourselves. So we're going to create an entry and what we're going to do is we're actually going to apply this to the main VLAN and to the, the text. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an entry and we're going to call this block text to main and we're going to drop this or reject it. The source will be a network, it's going to be technicians and the destination is going to be the main network. So we're going to block that. Now the reason we're not doing like an RFC group and blocking it is because remember we've got that VPN that goes somewhere else. So we really only need to block the networks that we have here locally. We don't need to do a, a whole global block. We're going to create another entry. We're going to call this block text to printers. We'll reject that. It's going to be a network. Text is the source. The destination is going to be printers. And we'll add this rule. So now we've got the text completely blocked from the main and the printers. Guest is an isolated network, so we don't have to worry about that. There's already firewall rules that are taking care of that. Then the next thing that we are going to do is we are now going to block um, the LAN to the main network. So we'll create this entry, or the, the main network to the printers. This is a block main to printers. And remember, we're blocking it to the entire network. And then what we're going to do is create an exception that allows us to just get to the printers that we need. So this would be the main network. This is going to be the destination is going to be printers. And we'll add that rule. So now you can see that all these things are blocked to printers. Now we can also block main to text, but there's already a text to main and we're not creating any exceptions to that rule. So in theory, the traffic shouldn't shouldn't work. So now what we've got to do is we've got to create our allow rule. So we're going to create an entry and this is going to be allow main to to specific printers and that's going to be an accept rule and we're going to allow the network main network to go to an object of printers. And so now we're going to move this rule to the top because remember we process rules from the top down depending on your view uh, but they always process a certain way. I go over this in another video if you want to take a look at that and then we're going to create an entry to allow text to those printers. Allow text to specific printers. We're going to accept that. The source is going to be network technicians, destination object 
printers, add, and then what we've got to do is drag this to the top because it's going to match this first. So if you're in the tech or the main and you're trying to get to the IP address of those printers, it's going to allow it only if it's in that printer's group and it's going to block everything else. So this should take care of it. And if you want to see a more in-depth video on this where we do some troubleshooting and some testing, we can definitely do that. Let me know down in the comments. But this rule should rule set should get you all the way as long as all of your networks are set up your wi-fi is set up and your rules are set up appropriately you should be good like i said we didn't do an rfc block because we've got that vpn that's going out to another site and we don't want to inadvertently block that so we are just blocking to networks that we know about if you've got any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, if you need somebody to check out your firewall rules, give your network a tune-up no matter which vendor you're using, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. And we work on all types of things, whether it's networks, voice over IP, storage, security, all those things, reach out. And if you'd like to talk about this and other tech-related items or issues, head on over to community.willyhow.com and sign up today and join the conversation. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.